Hello everyone, this is Kayla here. I hope you are having a wonderful Monday. I know it's kind of chilly out, but we have no snow, so that could be a plus. Um, we don't have, as far as I've heard, no snow in the forecast this week. So I thought, um, just as a little side program for you on this wonderful cold Monday, to show you something you can make at home. If you're staying in or if you know, you may not be, if you're kind of quarantined, um, this may be something you can do. You, some, most of the stuff you may have around at home. And so, um, it's super easy to make. Um, but we're going to make a salt or it's like a salt or pepper shaker snowman. This can be used as a decoration at home or anywhere that you may have. And so even though we don't have any snow right now, we're going to bring a snowman inside the home. Now, all you need is, like I said, you can go get a salt shaker, salt and pepper shaker. Now, it's like I got two of these for like $1.97 at Walmart. You can go to the Dollar Tree or you can go to, um, you know, the dollar store and get one of these. I was just at Walmart last night, so I was able to get a set. I um, also need a small foam ball or you can get like a wooden dowel ball. Um, anything that's round like this, you can, it'll use, excuse me. Um, you need a piece of fabric. You don't, it don't matter what color, you know, if you kind of want, if you've got like the buffalo, black and white buffalo chick theme, or if you've got another color theme you want to go with, you're more than welcome to. It don't have to be Christmassy or nothing. And so I found a black and white uh, buffalo chick fabric, so I'm going to use that. You will need some buttons, whoops. Depends on how big your shaker is. You can, I've got some real small buttons. And so I'm gonna, all I could find the colors was, that would match would probably be the red. So um, you can do buttons if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, for, then you will need, I've got, whoops, <laughs> some permanent markers. Now I've got two different sizes. I got the fine point and then it's just a regular one. Just to test it out to see which size, cause I don't wanna make the nose too big. Or if you have clay, you can use that. So if anything to make the nose with, you know, you can use anything, but I'm gonna draw my own this time, okay? So, but you definitely will need a black marker for his eyes and his mouth, okay? Another thing you will need is snow. If you have this frosty snow, they call it, you can get, it's that real fine stuff you can get. If you have some of that at home, this is what you'll need. You're gonna put it inside of your um, salt pepper shaker to make it look like snow. So, um, if you don't have any, that's okay. You can get some later, um, but this is what will help. Now, another thing you will need as well is a hot glue gun, because we're gonna hot glue gun some of this. We gotta glue it together, okay? So, well, let's get started. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw my face on, okay? I want to kind of go ahead and get that done. That way I can kind of see what I've got. I'm going to try this ultra fine point pen and see what it looks, does. Okay, I'm going to go with the bigger pen. This ain't going to work too well as I thought. I'm going to draw his face and I'll show you when I get done. And two, you can use paint. Instead of marker, you can always use paint and it makes it a whole lot easier that way too. If you've got paint at home and you love painting, you can do that. So, whoops. Let's get it go. Got his eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a mouth. And like I said, if you use the, the wooden um, ball that you can get like with the dowel rod and stuff in the craft section, go ahead and paint it. And one way you can do that is either you can use the brush or just put you a bunch of paint in a box, just in a big pile. Put the ball on top of that and roll it around and then just let it dry. That works perfectly as well. So um, you can do that. But this is just a little bit of a quicker way to do it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Now my nose is not going to be perfect. I am not a very good draw. Um, <laughs> so my nose will not be perfect, but I am going to try. And there we go. Now I've got my, like I said, mine is not perfect. A lot of people, it's a whole lot better than drawing than I am. And so, now, I wanna go ahead and put my buttons on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three drops. And go ahead and put my buttons on, if I can get my hot glue gun to work. 
and that way they're already on. And this is something you can do with kids. If you have kids, this is something good for them. You know you can do it with them. My glue already glued, um, dried up on me. My hands aren't working fast enough this morning. And as you can see, I got two. And we'll add one more. My hot glue gun is like giving me fits this morning. And there we go. We got about, I think I got one a little bit crooked, but anyway. Now, we are going to go ahead and add <coughs> our snow. It don't take a whole lot. If you want to fill it up, you can. It's rather kind of messy. You can kind of leave it like that. I may add just a tad bit more. Now, if you've got the other kind of glitter, you know, there's other kind of snow that you can get for this. I just use this. But this is quite messy, I'll tell you. You can fill it up if you want it more white. Let me get this. As you can see, I'm going to probably just fill mine up halfway. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hot glue, of course, his head on. And then we'll glue the hat on, okay? So, I'm going to put a big old a uh, bunch of glue around the rim of the salt pepper shaker and I'm gonna put his head I'm gonna face it towards me that way I can see it <laughs> as you can see now my face is not very bright you probably want to go ahead and use you know color a little bit in or use paint if you have paint it makes it a whole lot easier now I'm gonna hot glue his paint on or his hat on and I'm gonna put it around the rim of now you can paint this black if you want to I'm gonna leave it silver for right now because I you know just to, for the sake of the video without drying I am going to um, put his hat on just leave it the same color and you put it on like sideways so now I'm gonna add on his uh, and all you have to do on this is tie it now, if you want to, you can kind of hot glue it. If you want to, just to kind of cover it up. And you can kind of hot glue it like that. Somewhat side, or you can tie it. Now, I'm probably gonna hot glue mine, just cause it's easier <laughs> and quicker. So, I'm gonna. Let me get the other stick in. Together. And then I'm going to hot glue that down on the side. That way it kind of gives it that look. And it don't take much hot glue, just enough to glue it to down. And then you can make little slits. I didn't bring those scissors with me right now, but you can make little slits. And Now, if you want to make his, um, you know, I'm not that very best at, um, I'm not even good at wearing them, like fixing them myself. <laughs> um, scarves, but you can, you know, if you want to make it a little frilly looking and stuff like that, you can. But this is just something simple that you can look at. But that is your very own snowman. Now, like I said, you a lot of I know everybody is a lot. I'm not that great at um, um, with faces and drawing and stuff, so his face is a little bit off. But I think even paint would make it stand out. So if you have paint, that would probably work better. Um, but there's your very own snowman. Now, you can make a little couple, you can make a hint, um. You know, the Mr. and the Miseress or something like that. Because you can buy these in set. Like I said, you can buy a set of these for $1.97. So, super cheap. If you have, like, most of this stuff at home. The only thing, if you don't, you know, would be the phone balls. They don't cost very much. And most of the time, you can get those at the Dollar Tree as well, just for a dollar. So, super cheap. Something super easy to make. Um, and go Now, if you don't have the snow, another way you can do it. You know, you can do sugar, you know, something like that. Just to kind of give that look to it. And that works just as well. So, um, and then you can add like a little um, cotton ball 
and add like sugar in it to make it that kind of, or glitter to make it kind of glisten, that would work too, just something you may have at home. So, but there is your uh, very own little snowman. So you can make one of those at home. If you do make one, let me know and post it. I would love to see it. Um, so this is just something, a little side thing you can watch. Um, now, I don't have any more adult programs coming up for this month. But, well, I, besides next Monday, I have one that we're going to make. It's um, hot chocolate day. So we're going to make two different kinds of hot chocolate. One, one's frozen and one's hot. So keep a watch for those recipes. And then in um, February for our adult program, we will be making soap, homemade soap. So if you've not signed up for that, sign up for it. We'd be happy to have you. It starts on the 14th. That's on Valentine's Day. So at 10 o'clock. So if you're not signed up, call us and let us know. Sign up and we'll be happy to have you. But until next time, y'all enjoy and y'all stay warm. And we will see you all then, okay? See you later.